start my weather forecast in the mid-Atlantic, looking at the hurricane season for a very important reason, because this mass of cloud, isn't the very exciting, has an 8 percent chance of turning into a tropical storm. It'll be the first one of the Atlantic hurricane season called Anna, and it's the seventh consecutive year. It starts early. The hurricane season begins on the 1st of June. This year, the forecast from NOAA came out yesterday. Above average amount of hurricanes, above average amounts of, of major hurricanes. This is important because this will help to shift our jet stream. The formation of that storm should help to move our jet stream northwards, and that would bring us warmer, more settled weather. We still sit on the cold side of the jet stream. It still sits to our south, but overhead through the next few days, bringing these low pressures. The isobars close together. What you need to know from that is it's set to be windy. A breather for tomorrow before another low pressure moves in on Sunday. It's just relentless for now. This is how things look for today. Heavy rain or showers, very windy, warnings from the Met Office and because of that, feeling disappointingly cold. These are the winds gusts we've got already this morning. 60 to 70 mile an hour gusts, 85 mile an hour gusts of wind through the needles and our warning in force from the Met Office stays for much of the day today. So we wake up to rain, a lot of it spiralling around a low pressure. Heaviest rain across northeastern areas of Scotland, a little drier further west. Rain clearing from Northern Ireland, drier here this afternoon. England and Wales, heavy bands of rain moving through. 40, 50 mile an hour gusts of wind inland, 60 mile an hour gusts around the coast. Western areas and southern areas, southeastern areas into East Anglia as well. If you are heading out driving today, it is looking thoroughly miserable. Lots of spray on the roads and the winds also exacerbating that. Overnight tonight, the rain starts to clear and ease. It does turn dry by tomorrow morning. And actually, Saturday doesn't look too bad. It's the best day of the weekend, some sunshine finally, Sean, but it doesn't last. Good morning to you. Today's weather dominated by wet and windy conditions. We'll have gales through southern and western coasts. This low pressure brings with it what looks like an autumnal day, but it's actually end of spring and it's nearly summer. And there is more wet weather as we head through the weekend. This rain is just relentless. So today we have showers and then we have rain, very windy. And because of all of that, it will feel cold. So this is the soggy scene we're waking up to this morning. Our low pressure sits here over the Isle of Man, spiraling bands of rain through it. Eastern and southeastern areas actually largely dry and staying that way for most of the day. Bands of rain, for almost everywhere. But the winds then pick up through southern and western coasts, 50 to 60 miles an hour inland, even 40 to 50 miles an hour. And these temperatures are really academic, nine to 13, maybe 14 degrees, but adding in the winds, it will feel a lot colder than that. So our seven day outlook, what do we want? Dry weather. When do we want it? Now. I mean, I can bring it the middle of next week. Is that okay? That's literally the best I can do. This is our seven day outlook for the north of the UK, Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England, average temperature line there. It remains cool, but you can see a change in our weather symbols and a change in our percentage chance of rainfall. It is high for today with this heavy band of rain, a drier looking day for tomorrow, more rain through Sunday and Monday, but look, high pressure. Looks like it's set to move in. The rumors are true. Drier weather is on our way next week. Yes, uh, okay, better. Uh, for southern areas of the UK, for our seven day outlook for England and Wales away from the north of England, again, average temperature line up here, temperatures remain on the low side. It's cool throughout, but percentage chance of rainfall is key. Heaviest rain today, this band of rain with gales as well. A dry looking day for Saturday if you have outdoor plans. Again, rain Sunday and Monday. But here you go, guys. Finally, I can deliver dry weather for next week. Yay! Yay!